So you guys are shying away from the fast fun ship to the uh, transportation ship, the one with lots of hull, lots of maneuver. Like there's more room to build no into. Fun. Blah blah blah. Okay, less fun for so Aaron can have guns. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um. Awesome, Aaron. So that costs you. You get that for free. All my gold. We have to choose the three things. Oh, wow. That's all of your credits are gone. Whatever. <laughs> so your character is going to walk in with almost no credits. As a matter of fact, that means you walk in with like no food. Uh, You're like, okay, well, fine. I can just. No, no. It's, it's literally. It minute. makes so much sense, sense for make Florian. Food. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story, story wise, this makes perfect sense. You're like, you've got your guns and stuff like that, but you probably had like a backpack with like your mm -hmm. other gear inside of it and somebody fucking snagged it or you were getting attacked and you had to run and leave it behind. So you don't have the other stuff because you don't have the other stuff. Right. I, I like it. It's it. cool. Okay. Okay. So Aaron's poor. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? Ollie. Uh, okay. I don't, re I, do I need anything else? I have a lot of money left over, but nothing else street screams interest for me. What uh, are you uh, again? Um, Vanguard? Honestly, Ollie, for you as a PC, now. I thought you'd like glow bugs. I think I got glow bugs on Rockwell last time. Yeah. I oh, you didn't use them? them? I used them exactly once. Because huh? oh, there was yeah, no did. reason to use them. Yeah. But yeah, I bought some. I'll buy some glow bugs. Did you buy a backpack? No. You can buy the TL4 backpack. That's totally an option. Why the fuck would I want that? Um, Aaron, hey, look oh, at what the backpack actually gives me. Uh, everybody, just so you know, you all have vac suits. It's part of like. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, you have a vac skin. Okay. Because you're Quarian. That's just Quarians <laughs> have vac skins. Done. I don't know what that means. Uh, Paige. I'll definitely get this, the backpack. Aaron, p for you, Paige. Um, uh, seventy-eight. Read both suit and skin to see the difference. Okay. All right. Uh, Ollie, anything else? Are you good? Did you buy a Metagel? Like, tell me if you buy a No, I'm, my character would not go near Metagel. It's illegal. <laughs> what? It's illegal. She's not going to have it. Oh, sorry. Did any uh, Omnigel, which costs what? Omnigel? I have 15 Omnigel. You bought 150 of them? I got 15. Yeah, the, sorry, sorry, 15 of them. So how much, yeah. the, when it's an asterisk... That was 150 credits, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when it's an asterisk, how much does that cost for encumbrance? Is it every three equal one encumbrance? I don't know, it's, there's an inner thing, but it doesn't matter. I've got my space backpack now. Yeah, but that only holds so much. <laughs> yeah, and not only Joe is going in. Your character's, <laughs> weak as, your character's weak as fuck. Yeah, but my, my actual, like, stowed is, is like, fine. So That's uh, fair, that's fair. I, I don't need to worry about it right now. So other than like the med kit and the bioscanner, I'm actually like rule of six. So six of those equal one encumbrance. But you know how? So you said fifteen. So that's one encumbrance for six. One that's, encumbrance that's for two encumbrance for two. It's three encumbrance because once you oh, hit that right. one, it counts as one. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Uh, there's there's nothing that I really. I was thinking maybe a pressure tent. That's um, not a bad idea. Might as well. And, and uh, food. What's a reasonable amount of food we should have? I mean, you think about it this way. You don't really know the party yet. So you're. what would you have Where, had on what, yourself? I don't even know what like what situation I'd be with how much food I would have. Um, oh God, assume that your character oh. is prepared for, because of like your concept, assume your character is prepared for shit. So grab like six or ten or something. I'll get ten rations. Oh, man. Doof, doof, doof. Right, right, Rick? Oh god, yeah. Mm. Flashbacks. I know. I don't want to starve in space for a month. Yeah. Doof, doof, I think doof. that's it. I, I, I'm struggling to find like cool things that like find things that are either too expensive or not interesting. Uh, I looked at pharmaceuticals briefly, but technically uh, speaking, you could buy a uh, red powder or sorry, red sand. What does red sand count as in this game? Oh. Uh, increases your biotic skill level for rolls for one for each dose by one to a maximum of three doses give you uh, uh, a plus three to biotic skill checks um, on top of that um, so it increases your skill level up so like you get like bigger bonuses on top of that because because it does that the base ability or any like higher abilities you get for biotics is increased accordingly so let me try to be less vague with this no um, I, I get it but um, but for people that don't get it mm. so biotic mass field your current skill level is one if you were to just like snort or whatever two doses of red sand your skill level would go to three now there's just beyond your uh, your 
class's capability, your level's capability. Mm -hmm. So not only would you uh, have plus two more to your rolls, you can manipulate up to 800 kilograms and affect as many individual objects at once as you have telekinesis skill levels. I was going to say, that's the only, the, only, the only thing that might actually affects telekinesis rolls or biotic rolls for me is the only thing that would affect is the, the effect of uh, telekinesis and the damage it does uh, with its standard ability. So uh, I don't think I'd have it. I think maybe I, I would consider buying it in in situation. But I don't think I'd start with it. I'll look at the drugs real quickly, but I don't think there's anything that's <laughs> so, really gonna. So here's the other fun thing: red sand is known for a fact to work on humans. It was designed for humans. It's it's yeah, new. It's, it's newer in existence. However, it is not. It's still experimental with other races. Exactly. So well, I, then I, de I, I, just, I wouldn't have it. Okay. There's, there's all these things that's like, I wouldn't have it. So I think I'm, I'm actually probably just going to have a bunch of spare money. Okay. Cool. Like 500 cool. buckery booze. And just for, for everybody else, one of the things that we talked about beforehand with that increased skill level. So things like his barrier, where it lasts whatever rounds equal to, to skill level two, if you increase that to a three. I mean, that would be good. It'd be, yeah, it would be three plus one's four whole rounds of having that discipline times. Yeah. So that'd be three times 2060 armor. It's insane. But okay. Yeah. Um, anything else? Look over just the basic equipment, Ollie, and see if there's anything I, else. I, I have been, and I, I, I was over. I, I think I'm good. Uh, Aaron, there's a lot of equipment's techie. Because of your uh, VAC skin that you always mm -hmm. wear, uh, yep. you have a comm pad built into it, no question. Uh, it actually says specifically skin tight, um, no oxygen tank required, um, no penalties in health points or anything like that when you're using it. Don't worry about the type A power cell because yours is made advanced enough that it like recharges itself uh, with like light and stuff like that. Um, and then it also it has it has a a, a comm pad built into it. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else. You have compads built into your armor if you're wearing your armor, but nothing else is built into it. So don't just assume you have a bunch of things like you did last time. So any questions about what your characters would want? Like there's a difference between a compad and a data slab. Do we understand? Uh, I can't a, even find them on here. Actually, I think a data slab is built into your meta tool anyways. Never mind. Yeah, I was Tom's about to say, like, I was thinking is... about it, but then oh, I yeah. have an engineer's no. only tool, so I can already yeah. do better things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. It's built into your army tool. Ignore me. I'm stupid. Uh, anything else? Oh, for those I mean, of you that don't want to be, uh, that don't want to spend 5,000 credits, there is something called a line shunt. It's uh, three palm-sized discs that are roughly one centimeter in thickness. More or less what this allows you to do is the same thing that that 5,000 credit omni tool allows them to do. Um, limited but uses. Limited use, yeah. Uh, everybody Frank, grab what do you want he can't see your hands frank what <laughs> no. do you want i i, I you realize oh, yeah. like i literally have to look oh, like, I look at my head like this to see you and even then when i see you your whole head is about three quarters of an inch tall so can't see you go ahead so uh how long would it take to get a large advanced primitive weapon you have a large advanced primitive weapon. Oh, sorry, a large advanced weapon. Large, large advanced weapon instead of the large primitive weapon. Okay, so um, you have the Omni Blade uh, kit I gave to you for free for this game. But but could we call it not an Omni Blade? Like I mean, like no, no. no. So the kit means okay. that it has the ability to produce weapons, and you can infinitely produce the small one, no question. However, to be able to upgrade it to be able to handle the large one. So, uh, oh, Ollie, I don't think I told you this. To upgrade it so it can handle medium weapons costs 250 credits. Remember I said I was going to charge you, but I didn't. Yeah, you didn't tell me that. 250 credits. You said, credits. oh, it would usually charge, but don't worry about it. And then I didn't worry about it. I, said, okay, later, I guess yeah. I have less money. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually fine. And then fine. for a large one, uh, Frank, that's going to cost you 700 credits. It's a big boost because that's a really beefy weapon. So here's a question: Does does that sword time out? Uh, no, once you make it, it, it it's there That's until, what you, I was until you dissolve uh, it. I, I was really going to be worried if it if it would like just goop up on its yeah. own after a while. It's kind of like one of those. It lasts for the scene, but like the scene can extend beyond the combat. You know what I mean? 
Like, I don't care. It's one of those, once you make it, it's there. I would way prefer having an actual sword, not an Omni sword that was, like, just high tech. But no, I understand no, no. that's not how the world is. Yeah, well, I mean, there are things yeah, like that that exist, was, but uh... they're very rare and way more expensive. We're about to ask. Okay. Yeah, those are way more expensive. Yeah, so basically, an advanced weapon has to be Omni tool or super expensive. Exactly. Okay. That's what I was wondering, because I would okay, have loved... Omni gel isn't super expensive. Yeah, because not everybody yeah. can get their hands on a Krogan battle hammer. Right. Oh no! I wanted a <laughs> yeah. big hunting stick with like pistons, yeah, spikes exactly. on it that shot into people. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. I think I think it's a fair price. It's like fifteen thousand credits. Yeah, it's expensive, but. <laughs> All right. So, did you um, want to spend the seven hundred to have the modification, and it costs you two Omnigel to create it each time? It's a taxing yeah. thing because it's powerful. It's uh, you know, I'll stick with the one d eight instead of a one d ten. Sure. It's and, fine, I guess. And it's uh, primitive versus advanced, but that's still fine either way. Cool. Uh, anybody buying a suit ripper? Uh, I was it's thinking good, about it's it. It's good against the, those pesky quarians. But, uh, you know, <laughs> um, what, what entails with that? Ooh, I totally could have a stun baton. How much is that? 50 bucks? Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, is a suit ripper also illegal here? Uh, a suit ripper, their their design, yes. I mean, it's yes and no. I mean, <laughs> yes, they're illegal, but like in scenarios where you use them, it, it, it depends on the scenario, you know. So yes and no. And again, the whole idea of a suit ripper is it rips suits. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, you know you destroy the. Uh... And it's because you're dealing with races that don't all breathe air. And you go, oh, guess what? Welcome to air. <laughs> you know, it's only 75, right? Um, so uh, those are actually double the cost than what it says right there for, okay. for those basic ones. So stun baton's 100, suit ripper's 150. And what about uh, demolition That's charges? Nice. Are those also doubled? Which ones? Demolition charges? Uh, no, those should be, let me, let me just look at the cost. Uh, it's uh, 250. 250, thank you. All right. right. No more spending. Don't let me what spend. Page? What page, Frank? Uh, it is page 71. Heavy weapons, demo charges written beneath rocket launchers. Thank you. Uh, cost? Oh, no, no, no. That's that's fair. That's a very fair cost. <laughs> I'm picking up two. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, you used those last time, didn't you, Rick? I did, yeah. That, I mean, they were offensive. a good investment. Well, okay. Any RPG, just having explosives on hand is is very useful. Mm -hmm. DM's like, yeah. look at this brilliant plan I have. It's like, I'm going to explode this bit of it. <laughs> so so <laughs> none of your races have low light vision built in. Does anybody grab low light goggles? Uh, I was tempted um, to, but I'm not. I have binoculars. Uh, well, you're, you're poor. You, know, you just spent 350 credits that you didn't realize you were spending. So I know, right? Well, isn't that annoying? Yeah. What are the prices on those? Where are they? Two hundred and seventy-two. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, two seventy-two for low light. No, 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 just two hundred. It's page seventy-two. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody grabbed a bunch of Type A power cells. What do you use no, those for? I have no use for them. Uh, things like say the low light goggles. Things like say your your suits. Uh, I think your vac suit requires a power cell. Which is one's oh, built it? into it, but hold on. Let's read vac suit. The standard TL4 vac suit is designed to allow the wearer to survive in both hard vacuum and um, on most inhospitable planetary surfaces. The suit protects against ordinary levels of cosmic radiation and provides a temperature controlled atmosphere. Vac suits are equipped with a uh, with radius that has a 10 kilometer range with radios. Radios. Bleh. I thought you said that our, our armor counts as it without power. Is that just the old alliance armor? Your Is armor that... counts as a vac suit. Okay. Because okay. yep. you had me very I, I, confused. I swear, no, not like today, but like for the last season, the vac suits didn't require power. You uh, explicitly said it, but that might have been just because it was a lot. Oh, no, that's, that's like, fair. No, nope, that's fair. It. That is that is what I said. Nope, you are correct. You are correct. All right, so vac suit, oxygen, blah, blah, blah. So here's one of the big things. Vac suits are cumbersome and apply a minus two penalty to hit rolls and skill checks that require mm. movement. But because of the fact that you guys were wearing Alliance armor, you didn't have to worry about that. In this version of the game, in this season, you guys are wearing combat armor. 
you still do not have to worry about it. It's built into okay. your armor. It, you are not getting the penalty uh, applied to your characters, okay? No armor can be worn with a vac suit, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so the suit requires a type A power cell for each 12 hours of operation. Um, again, like your armor, it, technically speaking, I think the way I have it is a type B power cell is built into it, and then you're just kind of good to go, and you recharge it when you're on your ship. Um, vac suits have a self-healing exterior that can seal puncture wounds caused by bullets, arrows, energy beams, uh, but a strike from an edged weapon can overwhelm the repair systems. If a character with 10 or fewer hit points is struck by an edged weapon, there's a 50% chance the suit is torn. Suits are equipped with emergency repair patches, but requires a main action to apply one. Okay? And vac skin, vac skin is that, but tighter, no penalties. Da -da 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 -da. Cool. So, yeah. All right. That's cool. reasonable. I wouldn't buy power cells for that then, assuming I'm not going to be in space for too long. Yeah, yeah. It has a type B built into it. Yeah. And if we're going to a planet where we need it, you'd, you'd stock up. So. Is everybody done with equipment? Uh, well, I kept trying to get a word in, but then everything else and... Is oh, there sorry. anything that makes sense for my character? What was that, um, sir? Like I was, I was taking a look at the basic equipment and whatnot, but I couldn't really find anything that like really made sense for my character and is affordable. Like, sure, I love a day, uh, I love a black slab, but that's like two kidneys. Uh, I don't even remember the black slab is. Uh, and it was it ten thousand credits. Plus one the hack if you use the black slab. Oh uh, like yeah, yeah. Computer. Yeah, good luck. Super evil hack computer. That was more or less what Rockwell was slowly working towards when he was like, oh, I'm building these algorithms, but never got it. So, yeah. uh, let's see, for you, sir, uh, glow bugs are fun for any technician. Uh, look up what those are. I think it's page like 73 or 74. Little sticky LED lights. Uh, you're not the repair person, are you? Erin's a repair person, but she doesn't care so much. It's kind of like a group purchase for things like Insta panels. Uh... You're Solarian. Yeah, you're Solarian. Um, yeah. Let's see. Survival kits are always useful. <clears throat> uh, there's that drug that increases your cerebral uh, effects. Mm, I don't think I'm going to... I'm a winner. <laughs> I don't do... Uh, I don't do drugs. Super commonplace. Some of them are super commonplace in um, Mass Effect as long as you have a prescription from your doctor. She's like me on steroids right now. It's prescribed. I'm on yeah, steroids. I'd argue that that's different. Yeah, I have to pee like constantly right now because I'm like, <laughs> steroids. I mean, it's, it's yeah, fucking antibiotic. It's, it's for fighting a disease, not for like, you know, I'm injecting, um, what's it called? Like ape, you know, testosterone or something into myself. But stuff I used to pee a lot. Vehicle. Yeah, maybe a drone. Can you afford a primitive drone? <laughs> primitive drone. Not with 700 credits, no. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything for you. Yeah. Uh, if you walk in knowing that the uh, Quarian, maybe she can do a modifier for you. She might charge you more than half the cost. She might charge you three quarters cost and, uh, and keep the money for herself. That seems like a really fair way to do item mods in an RPG, actually. Yeah, that's that's what yeah, we used to... So in would D I then be able to make a talk check to try to get it down to half anyway? Uh, I think Aaron would just tell you, give me money, motherfucker. It's yeah, like, like d d no, don't try to make a talk no, check against the PC. Character is, you have this character is super sweet, actually. She oh. would just do it for you. Like So so in older D&D, &D, it used to cost experience points to make magic items, like scrolls. Mm -hmm. So if like if like a, uh, a rogue was like, yo, could you give me like a wand of magic missile? You'd be like, I have to give up a portion of my soul to do that. So can you do it? Yes, but you're paying full cost. <laughs> like, don't you think you get a discount from me? I'm giving up experience. Like, you're going to be level 19, and I'm going to be level 15. So no, you're paying full cost. The is super sweet, and this is something she does for fun, for the most part. So, yeah. There you go. We can do that. We can make it work. Or maybe that's how you guys know each other, is you bumped into her. She did a mod. Oh, you get, because modifiers, modifications have to be maintained. Technically speaking, he can maintain it if he has a toolkit. Maybe mm -hmm. he had one, but something happened to it. It's up to you how your character's into the story. Oh, that's great. You lost your toolkit. I lost all my other shit. There you go. <laughs> so um, I mean, it's up to you, sir, if you yeah. want to buy a mod. You have enough money for it. Was it page 92, 93? Yeah, I'm not sure how much, how much my character would focus on combat, but I think I might... Uh... 
It doesn't necessarily mm. have to be weapon mods too, right? Yeah, because I was thinking about maybe getting customized and getting a plus one AC to get up to 16. Yep. But that would be a thousand credits. Mm-hmm. Uh, customize, that is... It would, she'd probably, would she, what would you charge him, Aaron? Would you charge him 500 or like 550? Or like 600 or 800? Um, how much is it? How it would cost it? you 500 credits to do it. Right. I would do like... I, I would just charge you 500 and like food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there like, you go. You want to share your meal with me? <laughs> there you go. So she, she would more or less buy her a few rations and she's good to go. Yeah. By the way, customize uh, works for things like armor and weapons. It doesn't work for things like upgrading your shields. That's a different upgrade. Okay. Um, okay, so... I'll go and upgrade my AC then and deduct 500, and I'll buy a couple of rations that we will then share. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, uh, you guys now have to go over... It. Wait, Frank, did you have a question? Okay. That means anything. If you guys are done with equipment, I have to pee really bad. I'm going to disappear. Start going over your encumbrance, okay? So I'll be right back. You guys go over this and start going over your encumbrance, how that works, how it applies, da 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 da, da. I know Ollie understands it pretty well, but I'll be back just in case. Uh, Y'all should have been paying attention to it while you're buying your items. If you didn't, you're stupid. <laughs> Basically, there's two bars. You have it ready, which means it's on you all the time. It's like actually on your body, or you have it stowed. Your armor has hard points and soft points, which means you are, you, you are holding things like on your hip. They're like maglocked, like you're the your your master sheath. But yeah, um, basically they actually can hold a certain carry amount. something without encumbrance. But that's basically included into the. It's not actually included into the system because that would be useful. So basically, with our light armor, we have uh, two hard points which have no encumbrance. So one of your guns basically is free. That's mm -hmm. my shot. Um, and then stowed is like all the stuff in your bag. So you can have a certain amount of stowed. But the ready stuff is on you, but one of the things doesn't have encumbrance, even though you need to have it have an encumbrance stat. And there's no real way to actually show, but it's the thing that's uh, hard-pointed, because that would be useful. Yeah, um, I was going to say, what do I write all this? You don't. You, you can't. Just have it be readied and know it's the thing that's hard-pointed. Because usually it's going to be your guns anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so like, I know my sniper rifle is like, three encumbrance, four? something high it's high but yeah. oh yeah the Sorry. sniper rifle you actually can't hard point it's too heavy yeah yeah uh, it has to like be put away which your piss makes sense. would be hard pointed though mm -hmm. yeah for Just the medium armor or what are the um... i don't know i have the light armor open let me check i think medium armor has two that's not what i wanted at all oh no it's gonna oh, be um... so the hard uh, it's points. the same two two hard points two light points so oh, light points, great. light points uh, hold non-combat stuff. Yeah. Hard points hold combat stuff. Actually, yeah. light points hold very specific things. Did you go over what they are? I went over hard points because those are the important ones. Yep. So um, uh, Aaron's wearing what light armor, which has what two mm -hmm. hard points? Two hard points, but that means she can't hold her sniper on it. She has to hold her pistol on it, basically. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Let me uh, pause this. Um, you said. Also saying how there's no thing for hard points on the character sheet, which would be nice. And I shall write that. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. That, that's not a bad idea. So yeah, and Aaron, light you have while you're at it. you have in light armor, you have mm -hmm. two hard points. So okay. one automatically takes your pistol, mm -hmm. and then it removes. So so uh, sorry, a hard point can hold up to two encumbrance on a single item. So your pistol is encumbrance either one or two. It absorbs it. Your other hard point holds two encumbrance. Your sniper rifle is encumbrance three. Yes. So that means the hard point absorbs two of it. You still are charged one encumbrance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ollie what probably went over all that, and I was just reiterating. Um, what, is, what does that mean, charged one encumbrance? So on your character sheet, let's look at mm -hmm. you. Um, your strength is a 16, so you don't fucking care what I'm talking about. But your strength is a 16. So if you actually scroll down to your uh, equipment area, um, mm -hmm. it'll show your max readied is eight. It's half of your strength. Your max stowed is 16. 
So what that means is your sniper rifle is taking up one ready. So current ready goes up by one. Okay. Um, the way that that goes up is under your weapons, no, sorry, under your equipment area, mm -hmm. uh, you press add equipment. So under, instead of under other equipment, you add items. You press sniper. Oh, I see. Yeah. Rifle. I did it wrong. Got it. Oh, I think you took over the character sheet. But that's okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. So then mm -hmm. you just charge yourself in Carmen's one, whereas your pistol's zero. So, et cetera, okay, et cetera, cool. et cetera. Okay. Uh, things like your your uh, armor. Um, mm -hmm. Technically, wearing armor costs encumbrance uh, one per type of armor because it has like encumbrances built into it. So mm -hmm. basic armor costs zero. Light armor costs one. Medium armor costs two. And heavy armor costs, uh, I think, four. Because heavy armor just does that big jump between medium and heavy across the board. Okay? So if you're wearing light armor, it's encumbrance one. If you're wearing medium armor, it's encumbrance two, just for wearing the armor. Oh, just for... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> but that that's probably not going to affect anybody in a negative way. Uh, I don't know. The only thing I can't really carry on me, I think, is uh, my food. Yeah. Even the Solarian, who has a strength of eight, that only takes one of his encumbrance. You know? His pistol and his, your dagger, by the way, you have uh, two light points on your stuff, Rick. So your dagger doesn't take one encumbrance. It's cool. No, I've got, I've got two hard points, one light point. Sorry, you have two hard points. So your dagger could take one of those hard points. Good. Um, and so there's, uh, while you guys are going over your encumbrances, and please throw questions at me. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to offer you guys. Everybody has armor, right? Maybe. If you're hard pressed on armor, on uh, on money, you can downgrade your armor for an amount of money. How much money? Oh, for <laughs> for you, Rick. Uh, for you, Frank. Sorry, I will give you fifteen hundred credits to downgrade from medium to uh, light armor. Fifteen hundred. Not worth it. Okay. Uh, for you guys, if you want to downgrade from uh, lights to basic, you get a thousand credits. No, I'm, I'm not. I already spent like 500 to get mine a little bit better. I'm good. Okay. There you go. Quick question. Shoot. How are we calculating how much encumbrance we have? It says at the bottom, sheet. It says it on your sheet right there. I'll show you in two seconds. I'm just kidding. Oh, it says on the sheet. It'll be way easier to work out when we have like a hard point thing right now because then you, just, you, you can like discount Oh, is it the max rated max stowed? Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah. Stowed okay. things yeah. like in your backpack essentially and, and ready to... Yeah. That things I... you're ready on you, so... Okay, because I but... wasn't sure. It's like, yeah, the the word. It's like actually like there. a really clever thing. It's just we don't have hard points, but that mm. shouldn't be crazy. Uh, we can have like... Okay. Add hard points, add light points to where they are. That would be nice, neat. I'm looking um, at Aaron's and it looks broken. That looks broken? Did I break it? No, no, I don't think it's you. Uh, are your heart, are your, uh, do you see your current readied as displaying anything above zero? No. Yeah. No. It's so, not displaying anything above zero for me. And it should be. It should be showing My those. My stone isn't working. So I just need to fix the, uh, the math on this. So I have to fix, mm -hmm. what's that called in general? Um, yeah, in post. Yeah, uh, encumbrance, fix encumbrance. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, how much does the assault rifle weigh? Two. Two, yeah. But assault rifle is... and shotgun are two. Pistol is one, uh, depending, and sniper rifle is three. I mean, whenever I uh, take my guns from zero to one, like, and in the ready to it does say like currently two out of four ready. So the ready is working for me. The stowed isn't. You know. Yeah. Space it's back. funny because I don't think work. either are working for Aaron. Mine are not working for me at all. Oh, Erin Stowed is working. Her is ready does not. <laughs> That's weird. Right? wonder what's causing that. I don't know. I'll, I'll just have to look up the math. Uh, look up the, the uh, program. So anyways, mm -hmm. um, uh, just so you guys know, your Omni tool does cost one encumbrance. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was wondering about that. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it did last time too. Yep. Oh. I'm okay so Omni tool is one and armor is one, except for Frank, it's two. And that's like, boom, off the bat, instant tax of being alive. So both the armor and the only tool are counted as readied, or? Uh, as readied, yep. Okay. But the armor, like, it costs one, but who gives a shit? Because it gives you, like, a free six. You know what I mean? So, uh, did anybody buy Metagel? 
Nobody about Metagel? <laughs> it's illegal. Dude. It's crazy. It I'm, I'm so glad your character is very moral. Oh, that's awesome. My character is very religious. There's no cleric in Star Wars Outnumber. I'm being the cleric. A paladin, actually. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Hmm. By the way, Scott, in the um, the general equipment, it says uh, one like hashtag for rations. How would how many rations take up one encumbrance? Is it three? Uh, it, it used to be three. Yep, three counts as one. But mind you, whereas one, two, three count as one, four, five, six count as two. So as soon as you hit that four, it counts as two. But then five and six are free. Then seven counts as three. Eight, nine are free. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Okay. So, so, so say I got 20 rations. Yep. How much would that be? Uh, si seven. Seven, yeah. Got it. So I had that right. So so you, div you more or less divide by three, round yeah, up. Divide by three. Round I, up. The way you were explaining it made me think I was doing it totally wrong. <laughs> nope. Sorry, divide by three, round up is the way to go. So two rations still count as one. One ration still counts as one. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So... Any other questions about gear? I think I have everything set. By the way, I took 20 rations. Cool. I've got 18. But you eat three a day, right? Uh, it is one ration a day. Yeah, yeah, but you eat three a day, right? Krogans eat more because they are big boys. Yeah, well, I was going to talk to you about that, actually. It's like, no. should Krogans actually be I, charged I, more? I imagine that you just buy different rations from them. Yeah, the Krogan, the Krogan size meals. Uh, yeah, for but the record, should that cost more? Is what I was gonna say. It's like, I think it should because it's more food. They have to take uh, in more. It's, it's such calories. a nominal number in general. I'm gonna say no. Right? Yeah, rations in game games are usually just such a glossed over thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not I gonna. Mean... I'm not gonna make. I, it's already bad enough that I'm literally gonna say, "Hey, Rick, you bought rations for uh, for Aaron, right?" I mean, I'm carrying 18 rations on me. I uh, cool. probably share how a few. Many of, how many of those are quarian friendly? <laughs> None. Because oh, you yeah. can't eat yeah. the same food. See? I already have to tax her race because of that. I'm not going to tax yours as well. It becomes too much of a blue drink or the red drink. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, you know what? Krogans are the only ones that can eat both. Yep. I, it doesn't say it anywhere on any wiki or it doesn't suggest it in any way, but I just assume Krogans eat both. Oh, Krogans can... They basically can eat anything. Yep. And so it's, it's funny because like, like, he's like hungry and they like find out he was in there getting a late night snack. And all of a sudden the quarry comes in the morning to get food. And she's like, dude, like dude, that was my food. He's like, you know, whatever. She's like, no, I can't eat that. Like, I'll die. Aaron, add six <laughs> rations that. to your character sheet. Oh, cool. I'll have handed you, you six or something. Charity. It's like, a, it's a reasonable, like. Reasonable trade for a hell of a discount, I suppose. Ten credits is a reasonable trade. <laughs> no, six. Thirty gear, yeah, thirty credits worth of rations. Oh, okay, like... fair, 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 fair. <laughs> I was thinking wait times uh, cost as opposed to quantity times cost. Cool. Uh, I mean, I'd be down for that. <laughs> and, and no. Any other details? I'm exactly at nine encumbrance. Awesome. So we're gonna go over the characters one at a time. Who feels the most confident in their character? Ollie. Good. All right, so uh... yeah. it's it's the same as before. Yep. I'm not gonna go over all of my character now because I I always hate that. Uh, I feel like I ruined what quite last time I did that. <laughs> so she's a, a an a an Asari uh, vanguard who is deeply religious, raged re raised religious, uh, very patriotic kind. Uh, Either way, based on goddess. based on melee combat. Despite not being strong or fast. And uh, isn't that funny? Um, what's your um, your age? Biotic skills, uh, mage, one hundred and fourteen. One hundred fourteen. So pretty Oof. young. Yeah, it's pretty young. Pretty young. Yep. Young, uh, an adult, but young, like just going into university. Technically, sort of you become an adult at like thirty or or forty or something, right? So I mean like you turn an adult. I mean going off the going off the ages I, I could find. I mean you go like three hundred is like the next stage in their life. You technically but, uh, have to choose it, but yes. You choose when, but it's around then. Yes. And 
They can live up to past a thousand. Yep. But um, Krogans can live up to the uh, thousand. Yeah, exactly. No, Krogans, but, uh, Krogans, if they don't die because of combat, which they usually do, there are many Krogans that have yeah, lifted, they've lived hundreds like of years old. past a thousand. They could theoretically awesome. live two, three thousand, so they just always die. Uh, in Andromeda, my favorite character is like this Krogan who's like as old as a uh, fucking the oldest Asari or whatever. And he's just like, yeah, like all my organs have been replaced at least twice. Yeah. Like I, I'm starting to break down. Because <laughs> so I, one character. I think in like one of the wikis or whatever, there's a 1600 year old Krogan. Yep. Who was there example. from the uh, Krogan mm. uh, rebellions? Yeah. Which, by the way, no Asari lives that long. No. 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 They live yep. like a thousand. a thousand ish. Yeah. It's why, but... like, in universe, the Krogan were such a fucking threat because they don't die unless it's in combat. Yep. Um, and uh, humans, by the way, for the record, humans live much longer now. They have a lifespan of about 160, 180, just to put that in perspective. Mm. All right. So uh, anyways, all you have been trying to say something, and I keep talking over you. The, the, the age of about 100 is, is to fellow Asari considered very young. Yeah, to yeah, other yeah. races, it's like you're an adult. But to uh, every other Asari, it's like you are a wee girl. Cool. All right. Um, uh, by the way, I, I, I joke around about how they identify. Asari identify as Asari. Like, they yeah. actually don't, don't have, really care. like, their entire language is, like, sh she, her, blah, 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 blah. But that's that's only because the game was written for, like, English-speaking peoples. Yeah, they, in their culture, there was no real concept of gender. In, in, the, in yeah. the Asari language, there are no languages for, like, it's just, it's pretty much all pronouns. So, mm -hmm. um, of, like, genderless. But uh, I, when you're speaking English, I imagine you would just use she or her, because that's their yeah. genderless version. Yeah. Um, That's what they've done because it's easier for everyone else. Exactly. Because they are diplomatic people. All right. So moving on. The. Uh, oop, sorry, my phone's ringing. Where are you? Um, give me one second. There we go. Quick, quick message. All right. So um, where is. Oh, I'm sorry. Go over your character sheet. Uh, you could start speaking frank about your character. Oh, what do you want to know? More or less what Ollie just said. <laughs> Basic idea, age, stuff like that. Um, Probably going to be 67 human years old. So youngish by Krogan standards, I hold guess. On, hold on one second. Um, Isn't your attack bonus two? Uh, yes. Not you. The other one. Oh. Character creation, Vanguard class vanguard. uh it was just it just said one at level two uh level two no if you go to the bottom of the vanguard vanguard page it's two cool i'm fine with that no right. issues at all slightly higher thank you continue frank i'm sorry um so yeah 67 years old um like very tall as ollie would put it so probably like seven and a half foot tall that's like 200 centimeters for ollie mm-hmm um you know he's mostly muscle so i'm gonna say like he's larger or broader than regular krogan okay and yeah i don't know what else you want to know nope that's fine that's cool awesome thank you um uh, how old is he did you say uh 60 to 70 so very so fucking young yeah, young for a Krogan. Okay. Uh, Ollie, really quickly, at level two, instead of a class focus, you chose close combat, the foci. Mm -hmm. Um and... I couldn't have a class focus. However, at level one as a Vanguard, you gained a free level in uh, close combat. So... Yeah, so I went from zero to one. I think Is that went... not how that works? So at level one in Vanguard, you gained a free level in close combat foci. Yeah, I know. So you I have, that... have it? Yeah. Um, so I went to one. And so you, you, I, I think you misunderstand what I'm saying by close combat. Close combat is a foci, not a skill. I know. So I went from zero to one in the Omniblade school uh, skill at, because it was a combat skill. And at level two for a, uh, a class, you gained a class specialization. However, I don't think you chose one. No, I went for foci instead. What foci did you choose? Close combat. But your character, she says you only have level one in it, which you got at level one as a character. No, I didn't. Okay. Let you me... don't get any foci for Vanguard. Let's start from the beginning. I'm on the Vanguard page. It says specifically here, you gain a free level in the close combat foci. Oh, the close combat 
Bokai. Okay, yeah. sure. Then I guess because there is no close combat it. skill. There's an unarmed skill and an omni blade. See, that's what I was confused because in like fifty percent of places it says close combat still. So as mm -hmm. a skill still. So no, no, no. Where says close combat as a skill? But it says inside mm -hmm. here, gain in any combat skill as a bonus skill. As a bonus skill, which is where I put it into omni blade. Perfect. All right. Level one. Cool. So I'll level just add it to the second one because that's kind of what I wanted it for anyway. Okay, so you want the level two version? Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's Thank that's you. I was I was getting it for level two, so you could hey, like listen. If you if you want to be underpowered, I'm fine with that. No, I just I just didn't. Uh... There's a lot of wording that no. just goes over my head. Uh, unfortunately, it's the same thing with all tabletops. It's like with a joke, Aaron. You know the old joke from Oots level. So yeah. the words level and stuff like that. It's annoying. Um, just going over your effort, and then I'm gonna go over Frank's character sheet. Your effort should eff be correct. Yep, your maximum effort equal is one plus your highest biotic discipline, uh, plus your best of wisdom or constitution. So one plus vanguard plus sorry. So so as a vanguard, because I'm on the vanguard page, so always where I start is your is your uh, class. Maximum effort equals to one plus your highest uh, modifier. Your highest modifier is a one, so that equals two. Um, your highest skill level is one, so yep, it equals. So yeah, 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 it goes one plus your highest, one plus one, plus one, my apologies, equals three. And then let's go to Asari, which I believe gives you one. It does, so I think you have four. Yeah, um, I have four. Oh, I thought it said five on your character sheet. No, but... I, I have five because I got an extra one. Oh, where did I get an extra one from? So it's Vanguard is one. Uh, your I got one. Ability modifier is one. Um, Demo was one. Your wisdom modifier. Where did I get that one? extra one from? I did get one. it from somewhere. I think you uh, thought you got it because you increased your melding ability. Uh, nope, that's not even a little bit why I thought I got it. Okay, then. Um, but that might have been what I I actually did, but that's not what I why I did it. That makes sense. For a moment. That we... doesn't make sense, but that wouldn't that I might have done it. For a moment, we discussed taking the biotic training foci instead of the level two of close combat, and that gives you any free skill bonus. Or oh, you know, I, I never even slightly considered that. You you shot that down offhand, exactly. Yeah. But it, it did increase your maximum effort. So. Um, cool. Okay, cool. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm fine with four. Uh, five, I I don't know where I got the five from. Okay. I'm sorry. So you gained the power and lost. Well, a I'm not, I'm, yeah. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. All right, I think your character sheet's perfect now. Let's go over Frank's Good. character I sheet, and then we're going to move on to Rick. For later. Because we're almost done with the stream. So, well, I yeah, get so a little bit left to finish this. going to be different. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait till we actually play session one of this. It's going to be super fucking exciting um, to actually watch this group of people come together. So, Frank, your character sheet is already looking beautiful up top. Let's move on down. Weapons. <laughs> Demo <laughs> charge. Of weapons. That's funny. Uh, that's a lot of weapons. That is... <laughs> Whew. Looking good. That's like a lot of damage. So, question about the demo charges. Oh, do just I have so you know, to place them your... or can I throw them? Uh, technically speaking, you could trigger and then throw, right? So your large primitive weapon, I think your damage is set wrong. Oh, what is it? Yeah, because you have strength already set as an attribute, and you also added the plus four. We're just going to reduce Not that plus four? Yep, to plus one. Okay. And now it'll be correct. Sorry about that. I just saw on the um, yeah. PDF it was plus four, so I said like that. Nope, nope. You are perfect, sir. Um, so it's 1d8 plus one, and then you have your strength. There's an additional three, so a total of a four, which is insane. That's insane. Moving on. Um, your skills all look good. <laughs> I have, like, no good skills. <laughs> I'm just very <laughs> average in everything, except oh, on the it's fun. It's fun when you have to roll modifiers. Hey, Frank, could you do me a favor? Can you roll me an intelligence electronics check? No, nah, that's fine. I want to see, see how it comes out. Uh, once again, let me get to that. I somehow managed to lose. Ooh, you did 20. not apply your Krogan fatal blah 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 crap. No, uh, I thought that was for the rolls. It's supposed to be negative one, right? Correct. Uh, on so, the modifiers. So it goes like this. I'm applying it yeah. right now to your character sheet. That's what I was asking before. Oh, and I probably and, misunderstood yeah. your question. It's applied now. Well, because. So. It's nine charisma, negative one. That's an eight, saying it's negative one. That's what I was uh, saying before. I was going crazy over. Oh, it, that, that is to, uh, so literally what we just did right there, that's why that's designed that way. Because it doesn't work like D6 
D&D magic items where it's like, oh, you have a 16 plus 3, you have a 19. It works, no, you have a 16, which is plus 3, plus 1 equals your 16 is now plus 4. Comprende? You don't know, but I'll just say yes, anyways. So, so <laughs> an intelligence mod, intelligence eight has what modifier? Uh, I thought that would just be zero. Correct. Now, if you look under bonus, I applied a negative one. Yep. And it changed. Oh, the modifier it just counts as a flat negative one. There you go. Okay. Um, and that's why that your wisdom went from a plus one to a zero. Perfect. Okay, so that's what that is. Now, un unfortunately, that does reduce your mental saving that. throws back up to a fourteen. Oh well. But that's okay. You're fine now. You're good. Okay, cool. I that's what it was. We're good. All right. Um, you have all of your ridiculous number of abilities that is hurting me that you have. <sighs> You're going to be scary. Um, no, I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to die in like one session. Okay. Don't forget that you only... Yeah, you only have level one checked of each of those. So you're going to do that. Cool. Yep. No class specializations. All of your... You're literally exactly nine readied. Why does your readied work and hers doesn't? I bet I know why. Hold on. Let me look at her. Nope. No clue. Yours works and hers doesn't. <laughs> no clue. That's weird. And I'm keeping 20 rations in a backpack or on the ship. No biotics, languages, and stuff like that. We don't have to worry about You can put your notes and your history right there and your goals and whatnot right there if you'd like. Okay, Solarian. Let's look at you. Rick, can, Hi, you, yes. can you describe your character, please? Basics. All right, my character cool. is Cattle Olan. He is a 25-year-old Solarian information broker. Why is he going to be on a ship with a bunch of people, including a Quarian? Who knows? We might find out. He's a, he's a roughly average length for a Solarian. So I, length? I don't know what that is. Yeah, height, I mean, words. Hey, they're lizard people. Ladies. Length works. I guess a Solarian wouldn't really care about the difference between length and height, would they? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's the same thing for them, so it's good. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's not very, like, he doesn't really stand out from the crowd. He's average size, average weight. Maybe he wants it that way. Who knows? Maybe he did that on purpose. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yes. So we always are, Scott. Um, one of the things I would do for you, um, sir, is for because your character sheet, just like Frank's, is working perfectly fine for the encumbrance. So a heavy pistol, its encumbrance is one, so you don't forget that. I put it at encumbrance one, then click the other, so it doesn't apply to either one of them. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing with like your um, your small primitive weapon counts as one. Yeah, that makes sense. Other thing. Okay, you're taking over. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Um, and then you're good to go there. Do you have all of your rations and everything? Perfect. Good to go. Thank you very much. And you already start your notes and stuff like that. Awesome. Appreciate it. Erin, can you describe your character for me? Sure. She is super bubbly and friendly and sweet. And she's very flexible. She kind of goes with the flow and she just makes things work. Awesome. I love yeah. the fact that you're, you're daring I, to play. I, I... Daring to play what? A quarian with a six constitution. It makes me very, very happy. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that, goes. that sounds about right, though. Yeah, it does. Um, luckily, your physical save is going to be based off of your strength, and it's the fact that quarians actually get a bonus to a lot of those. But mm -hmm. oh god, Aaron, if you come in contact with any disease, oh god, you have a six con. <laughs> anything that does con damage, and you're so screwed. It's a good thing you're not biotic. I'm just saying, don't ever become biotic, because because torching would destroy you. Your con is six and your wisdom is seven. Ouch. Yeah. That hurts bad. Um, so, just so yeah. you know, Aaron, because of the fact that you did increase your intelligence before, because we went over that and you increased it, if you ever wanted to increase your wisdom to a, um, to a, oh no, you actually, you've never increased an attribute yet, have you? No, I didn't know it was a thing. Oh yes. It costs you the <laughs> first time you do it ever. It costs mm -hmm. you one skill point. So it costs okay. you one skill point to bring your wisdom to an eight, uh, okay, removing cool. that penalty. The second mm -hmm. time you do it ever, meaning any stat, it costs two points and so on. Mm -hmm. um, all right, weapons. You have a heavy pistol and a sniper rifle. I love the fact that you have, oh, you have a 16 strength and a 16 dex. You are actually a precision fucking sniper that walks around with that thing like it's nothing. It's amazing. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, God. Eric, yeah, can you do me a favor? I just want to yeah. see with your attack roll and everything. Roll yeah. me an attack roll with your goddamn sniper rifle. This is going to be insane. Because you're using decks and oh god, 
23. 18. You have a plus nice. five. Oh my god, a 23. Roll me your damage. Oh, you mm -hmm. did. 16 damage. Oh my god, sniper rifles are scary. And you got the extended clip. So you can yep. shoot twice before you have to worry about overheating. Oh god. Just so you know, Aaron, just so you're aware, technically mm -hmm. speaking, your sniper rifle is designed to have 1.1. Um, mm -hmm. shots, so your sniper rifle with the extended clip is 2.2, and what that means... They got means... mad at me with the decimal point. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, actually, you're, it, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. But it's just it. so you know, that means if you shoot twice, it doesn't instantly overheat, so mm -hmm. it actually allows it to recharge a little bit quicker. Okay? Cool. Alright, moving on. Um, moving on. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, all your skills are looking great. By great, I mean you're terrible at anything up close. Stay away from there. You'll die. <laughs> <laughs> your assault rifle is supposed to be a negative two. And with mm -hmm. your shotgun, it's a negative two, which it is. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then once again, I mean, you're, for some reason, your ready doesn't work. Everybody else's works except for yours. Let me just double check the Asari. Know. Is her shit working correctly now? Her, everything's working for everybody but you. <laughs> and I don't know why. I might just throw you onto a new character sheet to avoid the problems. And I'll just do that myself. But, okay, cool. Uh, I think you're looking good, Aaron. You get your notes cool. on there. You get everything you need on there. I think you actually have light points one, not light points two. You have it on your notes at the bottom. Yeah, light armor has one light point. Yeah. Cool. Uh, which you can use to hold things like Metagel or Omnigel and stuff like that. Omnigel, you can always have one loaded into your Omni tool if you, you know, for use. Uh, Omnigel is useful for things like, as we discussed, making your Omniblade. Omnigel is also useful for things like if you need to do an, uh, an electronics or decryption check, it gives you a bonus to that check, mm -hmm. but it's a one-time use oh, really? thing. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, so plus, it's like a plus one. one. Yep, plus one, one-time use. Because remember, in, in Mass Effect, uh, I think in Mass Effect 1, you used to just splurt Omnigel and everything. It was like, and it just took care of stuff. Um, um. Gotcha. Quick question on hard point light points again. Shoot, shoot. So is that like free encumbrance? Is like if I put my weapon on, or if I put my assault rifle on the hard point, that just doesn't count on encumbrance? Counts as other. Or does other? Oh, in that case. Yep. Counts as other. Good. A, a, a single hard point can absorb up to two encumbrance of a single weapon. So your assault rifle will go there, and you have what? A pistol? Is that the other thing you're good with? I have a uh, large primitive weapon. Which is two encumbrance. Oh, okay. So you could also have that. So your large primitive weapon would be more or less like you remember in Mass Effect, <laughs> you see weapons kind of shrink a bit and they yeah, it, it like grows and so, shrinks. Yep. So your large primitive weapon more or less would just kind of like into shape um, yeah. when you pull it off of your armor. So that's oh, in other. my case, I have like no encumbrance taken up. <laughs> uh, you do that technically have a pistol as well. And because your hard oh, points are used like up. I love to use that. If you wanted to have a pistol, which you don't have to, if you wanted to have a pistol, it would just be holstered as opposed to magnetically sealed. You know what I mean? Yeah, he'll so. just have it holstered or whatever. Yeah, however it okay. looks on him. Cool. All That's, right. I just want to check that. Awesome. All right, so it looks like all of the characters are completely made. We have the uh, the Krogan. Don't forget, whatever your character's names are, uh, actually open up a character sheet, press the button that says edit, and change the name here. Oh, you did. It just hasn't changed over on the other side. That was just from me. Oh, Cool. You guys did do that, except for Aaron. You guys did do that, I think. Nope. Uh, you need to do it to uh, Mr. Rick. Aaron and Rick. All right. Wait, I have one just... last thing to go over before we uh, before we um, say who we are and, and, and the stream and enjoy the rest of our days. Uh, Aaron. Yeah. How do you like your concept? I think I like my concept. Okay, I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you want to join on definitively every week yep. moving forward? Awesome. Yep. So what's really cool Definitely. about that is you you chose your decryption too. You chose electronics as the hard skill you wanted because you wanted to be able to fix and quirk things and blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. And um, Rick had it in his mind three weeks ago that he wanted to be really good at decryption. Mm -hmm. So that fills up two roles in the, the what the ship needs to run uh, well. Um, and then you, Mr. Krogan, sir... Always have the highest base attack sure. bonus. T technically, right now, you have like the same base attack bonus as other people. What's your name? Cracks? Yep. Um, technically, right now, you have the same base attack bonus as others, but that's okay. That gets better. You have a pretty good chance to hit. Um, you're going to be the person that takes care of primarily the weapons on the ship, 
which is cool. And then Ollie, um, do you have command or did you know you have command zero? Who is I a have pilot? Connect. Nobody like, is We've pilot. no pilots. I said we Rick should no be a pilot. pilot and he was like, no. Uh, no, because no. Rick wants so that's to That's why do... I said we'll have an NPC pilot. Rick I wants to do the comms person. Uh, well, no, I mean, that's... You have n no intelligence I mean, and no pilot great, skill. Because then we can just, you know, leave him with the ship and go fuck off. Like, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we can just stay there. It costs money per day. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll worry about that, of course. Uh, the, the first mission you guys go on, you're not going to have to worry about how much more or less they get their cut sort of a thing and that's kind of be how how it is moving forward so sometimes you won't be able to pay them but just like you, you've seen a million pirate movies and a million like uh movies that take place on various ships and it's just kind of like the crew comes together and sometimes you have a deficit for what the pay is and sometimes you have an overabundance for what the pay is that's just how it goes so um so you don't have to worry about that it is kind of cool that the pilot is not going to be you guys it'll be an npc which again i roll everything in the open so i'll be able to see that um uh, do, do you have commands? So that's the captain's role. Um, Ollie, just so you understand the way combat works with the captain's role, um, it doesn't mean that you're actually the captain of the ship. That, that, like Because you guys are going to be uh, an intermingled party dynamic. It doesn't necessarily mean one person owns the ship. or That's not the style of gameplay you guys were hoping for with this campaign. So that's not what we're going to do. Um, instead, the captain's role is just kind of like who is going to delegate the smart decisions on ship-to-ship -ship combat. That doesn't have to be you. You can pass the buck on that one. I just think you have the best roles for it. Let me see if I'm right or not. You're not Rockwell. Fuck Rockwell. <laughs> um, your sure, great. Roles... Go over that another time. Uh, give me two seconds. I'm sorry. Uh... If, you're, if you're telling me about rules things about this game, I cannot listen to it right now. No, no, that's fine. I won't, I won't bog you down. I was just looking at other people really quickly. Uh, while I'm doing that, uh, Ollie, who are you? Where can we find you? I'm Ollie Rant. I do a stream an hour after this one. Why I have been incredibly distracted and apparently moody looking is because a very different version of my normal D&D stream is going to be happening in an hour if I can, if Scott is willing, because we're missing two people, so we I might cannot. be doing a little... Nope, that's... Nope, not even. Don't even suggest <laughs> that. I've already made most of the overlays. <laughs> So uh, that'll be interesting, but we'll see if not, because Scott's like, Scott Garner will just be like, fuck off. And then I'll just play a game or, or something. But usually I do art streams and do game streams and stuff. You all know me at this point. Uh, Ollie Rant all over the place. See me in an hour doing something. Now I'm going to go back to doing making overlays. Before we continue with that, uh, Frank rolls those command checks that I was talking about at minus two. Uh, Aaron rolls them at a minus one. Um, you, Mr. Rick, roll them at zero, and Ollie rolls them at plus one. So See, I was going to think I was going to be in command anyway. That's what I was assuming. I just assume people kind of like, uh, we'll worry about it when we get to the actual game. But it's kind of like one of those, the, like, they're going to be so busy handling the stuff that they're handling. You're just kind of like helping the party out by like, no, do this, do that. Because you're, you're not dedicated on any one task. Your no, dedication my is to character hand out tasks. is so not dedicated on any one task. No, no, no that's perfect. It works perfect. It's, it's beautiful. Great. No, it'd be really fun. Rick, who are you? How can we find you? Hi, my name is Rick. I also go by Derp Digital on the YouTube, Twitch, and other places. I upload videos normally. I'm trying to get back to that right now. I just uploaded a beat up a channel update explaining why there haven't been videos lately. Things aren't great, but you know, that's how it goes. I'm going to get back to making videos now. Any day, I think, I hope. It'll be more XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. We'll Ooh. finally try to wrap that up, and we'll try to kill some aliens, because, yay, that's always fun. Hey, watch out, those are your brother yeah. now. I mean, <laughs> depends on how... Some of them do look a little Solarian. They do look a little Solarian. <laughs> oh, Solarian. That they do. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Rick, uh, sorry, Frank, who are you? Uh, I am not Rick, in fact. Nope. I am, in fact, Frank. Yeah. Uh, you can find me at uh, Control Alt Frank on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord as well. I'm the SVK Gaming Community Manager. That is Margaret Crone's little community over there. So if you ever want to go hang out and talk to me more, go to her Discord or whatever. Or don't. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, sometimes stream on my channel. Want to get back into my show Warfare. that I haven't. 
Oh, I also love Warhammer. Uh, want to get back into Song of the Sword. Might be publishing that soon, actually. Uh, I just have to put it into PDF form. I have everything all ready for it. Um, but, yeah, that's I'm a boring person. That's pretty much... I'm going to go get sushi now. Aaron, who are you? How do That's you find not you? boring. <laughs> um, I am Rinson on Twitch and Twitter and all that jazz. And I'm super active on the Discord for False Pretenses. If you want to chat there. Um, and I stream with you guys on Fridays and now Wednesdays. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you so much. I'm Dale Rick. You can find me on everything at Dale Rick, except for Twitch, in which case you already found me. Hey, it's uh, Dale Rick Master. Uh, my big suggestion is if you have not already, scroll down to the bottom of the window and click that little key that has the Discord button. Join the community, the False Pretenses community. It's loads of fun. All these people are inside of our uh, Discord. We all hang out all the time. We joke around. We talk about cats, food, uh, games, um, shit talking, whatever. doesn't matter. Um, so join the Discord, have lots of fun. Other than that, uh, every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, do the math for your time, uh, I will be going live uh, here with this game, the new Mass Effect uh, game taking place in 2167, um, which is three years after the last season. So this is 98% has nothing to do with the last season that we played. So if you missed it, feel free to go back onto YouTube and watch it. If you don't want to, Okay, that's cool because it, it's two percent references that you'll miss. Who cares? You, you, you'll pick it up with context. Uh, other than that, thank you all very much. Appreciate you hanging out. We'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye, pistol. No. <laughs>